people, welcome back to Food Glam Life. My name is Sana. If you're joining me for the first time, then make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos and also follow me on Instagram and all that fun stuff. I'm excited about today's video because today I'm going to be telling you how you can get a more youthful, glowing and sort of a wide-eyed look. I guess as we progress into our late 20s and beyond our 30s, one of our constant concerns or one that I hear from a lot of ladies around me is, you know, kya mari skin bahut dal lagne shuru ho gayi hai. Obviously, you know, after 30, 35, your uh, skin does not regenerate itself the way it did when you were younger, when you're in your teens and when you're in your early 20s. So if you are in your teens or early 20s, please do take care of your skin. Don't skip out on sunblock. I mean, don't take it for granted because once you're past that point, you're going to miss it. So today I basically wanted to share, you know, some tips and tricks skincare wise and mainly makeup wise on how you can sort of achieve a very glowing and youthful look. And of course, that's done with minimal amount of products or minimal compared to, you know, like a whole full face. So if you're interested in seeing how you can look youthful and glowy and just look like you're having the best skin day then keep on watching acha jo sabse pehli tip jo sabse important tip main dena chahti hu wo hai hydration and so that's inward and outward hydration i think a lot of you know this already lekin i'm just going to repeat it make sure you're drinking a lot of water i think some of us have this habit of not getting enough water and what i felt that makes it easier for me is to keep a bottle of water ideally aapko pata hona chahiye ki us bottle ki kya volume hai so like usme 500 ml ki bottle hai ya 1 liter ki hai and that way you can sort of see ki mai am i drinking a liter a liter and a half in a day at least like that's that's what you should be aiming for i keep my bottle on my bedside table as well raat ko bhi i i don't know i have this thing where i wake up in the middle of the night a few times and i get really really parched so i have to have water so water is really important and the second is of course sunscreen so you have to make sure that you are putting on sunscreen whatever age you are before you go out into the sun premature wrinkling sunburn skin cancer all of those things are related to not protecting your skin from the sun the sun puts out uva uvb rays and as we know with the current global warming and with our ozone layer depleted you know we are being exposed to a lot more toxic elements out there so that's really important and then once we get into skin another thing that obviously i'm not doing right now but you should do is regular exfoliation aksar mai skin complaints mein ye sunti hu ke you know meri skin bahut dull lagne lagi hai bahut discolored lagne lagi hai ya textured ho gayi hai basically aapki skin regenerate karti hai theek hai it does it at a much faster pace when you are younger but it's not like it stops altogether as you grow older but what happens is when we don't exfoliate the top layer wo niche ki skin kabhi jo fresh skin aati hai wo expose hi nahi hoti the dead skin on top the dead dull layer on top is basically dead skin and you have to get rid of that so for that your best bet is to use alpha hydroxy acids it just go ahas kehte hain jo ki chemical exfoliant hota hai and that helps release the top layer if you're going to go again you know i'm not a big fan of physical scrub but if you're going to go for a physical scrub make sure ki aap walnut shell wala nahi use kar rahe um something that maybe has rice powder or something that's more gentle use that next as i said external hydration so we're going to start i'm going to start now i have really dry under eyes and i have really deep set dark circles a lot of south asian women do have deep set dark circles but everyone sabki koi na koi different reason hoti hai mera masla basically is mine is like chronic i have very thin skin under my eyes because it's not as plump as perhaps my cheek it basically shows the blood or whatever the flesh underneath more the color from underneath i'm using one of my favorite eye treatments for dry skin these days this is the kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado aur ye bahut zyada nourishing feel karti hai only need a little bit i don't even know maine kitni lagayi abhi maine dekha bhi nahi lekin i also use it on some very dark dry spots like aajkal meri yahan kafi dry ho raha hai i don't know if you can see the spot over here and then just around and where my laugh lines are i'll just kind of push that out immediately what this sort of does is the hydration itself will give you more of a glow i'm going to follow it up with Actually I should tie my hair better than having my hair sticking to my face. Now what I'm going to do next is moisturize. Aap koi sa bhi moisturizer use kare jo aapko suit karta ho. Just make sure that you read the ingredients. Just a couple of ingredients that you should be aware of. One is uh, denatured alcohol, not cetyl alcohol. Cetyl alcohol is a fatty agent which is actually moisturizing but denatured alcohol ya denat alcohol denat is a very drying agent. So if that's in any of your products you should really look into that. And then some people have a reaction to fragrance. If there's a slight 
like fragrance in something that doesn't bother me too much but some um, some fragrances are too much for me but i'm going to be using ye bahut mehenga hai so i'm not really recommending this mujhe to ye sephora ki birthday gift mein mila tha this was this is the proteiny polypeptide cream by drunk elephant can you focus yeah this is a small size and i am actually actually really liking this right now so main iska abhi thoda sa zyada se lagaungi and then i'm going to do something which you will find really interesting i'm going to use a korean <coughs> korean skin slapping technique so after i sort of push this in the skin slapping technique is it basically brings the blood flow back into your face which again you do need to give yourself that youthful flushed look and it also helps with collagen production and if you know okay as again as we grow older the collagen production in our face the, the basically collagen is what binds our skin that gives us that plump tight look and once you start losing the collagen to phir aapki wrinkles banne lagte hain aapki baaki jo bhi issues hamari age ke saath aati hain wo hone lagti hain so collagen production is some so collagen they even like retinol a lot of like products come with collagen in them so you should maybe even look into that and then a lot of like anti-aging products and then also products like those with retinol retinoid in it those also help with collagen production in your skin so i'm just going to sort of wake up my skin i know this looks crazy lekin ye face massage ka ek technique hai kisi pe gussa aa raha ho to apne upar utar le <laughs> so basically main apni ungliyan bahut hi dheeli chhod ke and just All right. So this the the cream is very nice. It's very absorbent. So sari meri skin ke andar absorb ho chuki hai. And as you can see, I already without makeup, I know meri dark circles hain, lekin there's somewhat of a glow that's already there. Acha for me, the next step that I'm going to do that I always like have to do because of my dark circles is just apply something that is more of a corrector. So this one by Focalore I use kar rahi hu. And I'm trying to use just very little of it. I'm gonna push this in. And I've said this before, but I'll tell you again. The purpose of the corrector is that if your discoloration is, if your under eyes or any other discoloration, blue, purple, grayish type of discoloration is, so this sort of helps correct that and neutralize it, so that whatever you put on top of it does not look ashy or or gray. Not look. Because if I put it on it directly, if I put concealer on my under eyes, pe, it's going to look quite gray. Okay, I totally forgot a step. I said the one step that I did forget after moisturizing. I'm just going to use. this prep and prime setting spray you can use rose water anything that kind of just hydrates you more i forgot it before the corrector like i'm sorry that you're supposed to do that before the corrector if you're looking for a full coverage look this is not the video for it because in this look you're not covering up you're not adding too many layers balki isme main powder bhi bahut kam use karungi because powder just sort of adds to cakiness and makes you look sometimes 10 times older than you already are because powder especially if it's not set in well if it's not you know just meshed in well with your skin नजर आ जाता है दूर से नजर आ जाता है देर इज अ टाइम एंड प्लेस फॉर दोज बट इफ यूर लुकिंग फॉर अ वेरी नेचुरल यूथफुल ग्लो दैन द होल पॉइंट इज नॉट टू कवर अप योर स्किन सो मच सो इवन विद योर इम्परफेक्शन वे गन वेयर दैम प्राउडली राइट ना जो अगला स्टेप है उसके देर आर फ्यू ऑप्शन यू कैन यूज आई दर बी बी क्रीम अ सी सी क्रीम और अ टिंटेड मॉइस्चराइजर और वेरी लाइट वेट फाउंडेशन विच एवर वर्क फॉर यू एंड इफ यू हैव रियली नाइस स्किन दैन जस्ट स्किप दिस फाउंडेशन ऑल टूगेदर लेकिन अभी जैसे मेरे थोड़े से स्पॉट्स हैं एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड सो जस्ट फॉर वेरी लाइट कवरेज आई मई टू यूज द स्मैश बॉक्स कैमरा रेडी बी बी क्रीम विच हैज एन एस पी एफ ऑफ थर्टी फाइव और इसके साथ मैं एक प्राइमिंग मॉइस्चराइजर बाई ग्लॉसी आई मई टू मिक्स बोथ ऑफ दीज एम जिस पुट दिस एंड देन आई add this so it'll be just very loose probably not what you imagine as any kind of a foundation it's basically this again is like a very light tinted moisturizer and i can even i can either rub it in with my fingers or apply it with a sponge and you'll notice ke iski bahut hi and i'll show you on this side with the fingers so it's like a very sheer very kind of glowy kind of coverage so in a sense there's barely any coverage if anything it's just going to kind of a very slightly even out my skin And this is really ideal for those sort of people jinko nahi bahut zyada makeup lagane ka shauk can wear this on a daily basis as well. So there you go. And again, I don't know if you can see it, but I see a ton of glow and I'm not going to be covering this up with like a whole bunch of powder. Before I go into like actual concealer, I want to do my brows. And brows is a very essential part of I guess looking younger more youthful especially if after a certain age agar aapki eyebrows utni thick nahi hai, basically fuller thicker eyebrows denote 
youthfulness. I recently tinted my eyebrows by myself and if you haven't checked out that video, that's my last video. I will link it down below. Because of that, you know, I'm going to stay with my natural eyebrow shape, but I have very little to do. For filling in your eyebrows, what you want to do, which is a very easy tip, is you push your hair down with this thing that's called a spoolie and you just follow this line. And this is where there are bald spots lag rahe hote usko main fill in kar rahi hu theek hai na bahut zyada nahi kar rahi because again natural and youthful i might say that like 50 times during this video and then so when you're doing the bottom you're going to push do the opposite you'll push the hair up and maybe work in short strokes aur ye aapne fill in kar liya if you want to set it with a powder or like an eyeshadow, like a darker eyeshadow, you can do that. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think it looks nice and natural-ish. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the other eyebrow and then we'll be back. Okay, so I have my eyebrows on. I'm just going to take a little bit of brow gel. This is again an optional step, like agar if you want to set your eyebrows in place, you can use an eyebrow gel with this chota sa jiska spoolie hota hai. The one I'm using is by Kaja and it's called the Brow Blowout. If you want a feathery look on your eyebrows, you can do that too. And just kind of push them more upwards. Before I go into the next step, I'm just going to take a little bit of my Burt's Bees chapstick. Or whatever, moisturizing lip balm. Because chapstick is a brand name. External hydration means that your lips are also hydrated. Before starting this video, I did use my DIY lip scrub, which uh, if you want to know how to make that or any kind of lip scrub you want to use, I use that to get rid of the dry, crusted, dry skin that is left on your lips. So I got rid of that. So it's really important to regularly scrub your lips as well. It's a simple sugar scrub. You can see the recipe and you get smoother lips. Because again, as we age, our lips are not as tight. They're not as full. So lines are not and dryness are not So And of course, drinking water is also going to help you with that. Now, since I don't feel like I'm glowy enough, I'm going to use this Becca Ka Skin Shimmering Perfector. It's, this is called the Spotlight and it's in the shade Opal. And what I'm just going to do is lightly dab it onto these high points on my face. These are the spots that I like to highlight. And at the same time, I'm also going to use my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline and put that on my under eyes. Because now we're only correcting Keithy. So if there are any trouble areas that need like extra covering or which you think that it's not possible to go without covering them, then you use a concealer. So extra, I'm going to go over my eyes with it. So you see my under eyes, that's covered. Now we're going to go into blush. I will not do bronzing or contouring. And literally, this is probably going to be my only powder product. If you are more oily, then you can use a little bit of loose powder to touch up or just like press this in place. I'm not very oily, so I'm not going to use it. I'll see. If I need it, then I might use it. I actually want to share a blush technique with you. Just to use it, you look a little more youthful. So the one I'm using is by Tarte and it's in the shade Party. 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 And if you see, it's a very, very natural, almost nude pink kind of shade. It's not very bright. You can go with a brighter pink, but just use something that is not too pigmented. Okay? I really like this Amazonian clay blush formula. And this is how I kind of swirl it in. And you want to go under where your eyeball is. Okay? You can give yourself a little bit of a smile. And holding the brush from just the end you're going to go around in a very light sort of circle and a big kind of a circle almost touching or grazing your eyelashes do not pull your blush all the way up here you're going to focus it right here on your disco get the apples of your cheek and because we have this very glowy look underneath even though it's a um, matte kind of a blush you know it's not looking very matte or dull you can see there's a little bit of a glow or shine underneath i know it looks odd but trust me this is the way this is how you know you're going to look fresh and healthy and young all the signs of youth and then what you're going to do is take the same blush brush and go over your nose just like that i'm just touching up over here and then you see like there's a little bit of pinkiness on my nose. I didn't contouring, I didn't do anything else. Just a little bit, just like this sort of a sun-kissed look. And it's very like almost innocent, angelic sort of look. I don't know how angelic or innocent I look, but you get the point. I'm going to take whatever is left over and just brush it lightly across my forehead, across my chin. Just so that it looks like one way. You know, it's just not that you have so pink pink. Lage. And this is why I'm also saying use like a natural shade of blush, like something that's like a rose, dusty rose or a nude pink kind of, so it looks more like your cheeks are flushed rather than 
pink blush lagaya hai yahan se leke yahan tak don't know that's not the point it's going over my nose a little more i know it looks like very pink looking it's you like that just there's like blood rushing to your face the next step is also kind of optional you don't have to do it again because you already have this glow and i'm not going to ask you to use a very bright blingy kind of highlighter lekin agar aap chahe to ek halka powder sa jaise ye wala sephora ka hai you see it's very like subtle this technique that i use a lot these days i really like it is i take a little bit of the same sponge that i was using and this is my concealer sponge and i'm just going to take a bit of it and almost just dab it on these spots go like a c right here and you can completely skip this out and it'll be fine it's not going to be a big deal and just right here on the bridge of my nose i'm not going to put it on my you know any place else i like the way my skin is looking acha The next step is you might be wondering eyeshadow ka kya hua but this is the best part i'm going to use the same blush i'm going to take a fluffy brush into this blush i'm going to tilt my head up and just kind of put it into my crease almost kind of all over like in zyada tar main apni crease pe focus kar rahi hu and if i want to give it a little bit more glow i'll go right into this highlighter and just push that into the corners under bahut excited ho rahe hain to thoda sa yahan laga sakte hain apni ठीक है आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू टेक सम ऑफ द ब्लश एंड पुश दैट हियर वी आर ऑलमोस्ट एट द एंड वन स्टेप दैट आई हाईली 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 रेकमेंड इज यूजिंग एन आईलैश कर्लर बिकॉज़ कर्ल्ड लशेस आईलैशेस whether or not that makes you look youthful it looks beautiful so especially if you have eyelashes like mine jinki bilkul niche ya straight ja rahi ho uske liye ek eyelash curler is like a godsend even though it looks scary it really it's very hard to hurt yourself with an eyelash curler just make sure ki iski jo ye padding hai ye achhi ho mine is not that expensive it's like a sally hansen ka hai so you can get it from a drug store but i've heard the shu mera one is pretty good so you see immediately even without mascara uplifts the eyelashes and almost already look makes it look like thicker so before i put the mascara on here's another big secret tip is to take a nude eye pencil abhi mere paas nude eye pencil nahi hai so i'm going to use this smashbox ki hai it's like it's kind of like a highlighting like you can use it like concealer or whatever and two things ek to main is yahan jahan zyada darkness hai na us pe main lagaungi this kind of divot that forms and then what i'm going to do is I'm going to line my lower lash line. And what that immediately does is it gives your eyes a very wide awake kind of a look. Khas taur se if you are a sort of person, if you're a mom or person who's wor- been working a lot has or has insomnia or aapki yahan se aksar hota hai ki redness zyada ho rahi hoti hai, this immediately conceals that. So this is kind of the opposite of using like a kajal. You're not going to be using a kajal for this look. Kind of blend the edges. So you'll notice it'll make your eyes look a lot more open and awake. And now we're going to go into mascara and I'm just going to use this one by Kiko. This is the extra sculpt mascara, but then it's that tight ki maine bandha hua. Iska jo brush hai maine bend kiya hua hai so that it just picks up more of the product inside. We're going to give our lashes a few soft coats. I don't want a very clumpy look, so I'll show you a, a little hack that I use for that as well. Do you see the difference? Just one coat of mascara I can make. When I apply mascara, I like to focus on these ends because I like this, you know, I like this like kind of like this doll-eyed look. So it looks like your eyes are more open. This is a very good tri- uh, trick if you have agar aapki eyes downward turned hai, so it looks makes them look more lifted, right? And then I'm just going to go on the bottom. Don't leave the bottom. It balances your eyelashes, especially agar aapki meri tarah ow. Don't talk while putting mascara on. It's not worth it. Acha ha, to clumping ke liye main ye bata rahi thi sorry agar mere liye sound mein se pani nikal raha hai because I literally poked my eye with the mascara wand. So what I do is I have this cleaned out, dried out ye elf ka tha lash extending mascara. As a mascara was pretty useless. It dried out very quickly. So I clean it out and I just use it kind of like as an eyelash comb. Aur agar mujhe zyada feathery look chahiye aur mujhe lag raha ho ke ye mere bahut clumped up ho raha hai mascara se i'll just pull it through but you have to do it like right after you apply it because it's harder on like dried out mascara and this basically gives it like a very nice wispy kind of a look we're on our last step aur isme kyunki i already have the lip balm on i'm just going to take this nude lip liner by wet and wild i really really like this because it's a gel liner so ye bahut aasani se apply hota hai and it color it covers the discoloration on my lips i don't have naturally pink lips i have very pigmented lips so i'm going to take the lip liner and sort of cover my entire lip oh it's almost finished that's a shame Now you can use like a lip tint or a lipstick and what I like to do is instead of applying like a full lipstick and I like to use pink you can also use like a pinky nude so maybe I'll use both because you know I mix my lipsticks a lot so what I do is like I'll take this and like isko aap press in kare 
So it's more like a lip stain. You can also use a liquid lipstick if you want, if you're adventurous like that. But I think the bullet lipstick has a little creaminess zyada hoti hai, so it's more forgiving. Ye beach mein kar dungi, right? And then I'm gonna go and sort of use my finger and rub it all over. You see some of it is coming off. You can even top up your blush with it. The leftover is coming out, just make sure to blend it in. Use your brush or your sponge. Not like a thick heavy layer of lipstick, but just like like a stain. And another thing that I really enjoy because, you know, matte, I mean, this satin creamy look is fine, but then I'm also maybe going over with a gloss. This is a Fenty Beauty uh, gloss bomb. I really like this. Not only does it smell really yummy, but it's a beautiful gloss. It's like very, very natural. I mean, as natural as gloss can get, like in the color is very nice. It's like a universal color. And that is pretty much it. I'm just gonna finish it off with this setting spray again. And that is pretty much it. This is your youthful, glowing, wide-eyed look that I brought with, you know, like a whole bunch of little tips and tricks that you can use in your everyday skincare, makeup routine. These are just tips that work. It's not going to make you look perfect. It's not going to make you look like you have an Instagram filter, yeah, photo filter on. It's just the sort of look that when you just want to walk out and look like healthy and refreshed and all of that. And all that with very few steps compared to a regular makeup routine. So I hope you appreciated that. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to give me a like down below and come say hi in the comments let me know what you thought and what your tips and tricks are for a more youthful glowy look if you're not subscribed to my channel already please go ahead and do so now follow me on all my social media i mentioned it over here i hope to see you next time thank you for joining me take care and goodbye Mwah.